Well, to begin with, the reverse crisis, personally, I feel, gives us a blueprint of what democracy uh, we practice in Nigeria. It's basically about who is loyal to who. And so, are we now to believe that it is not the will of the people that is the leader, but just what a father, a godfather wants, you know, that is he just wants this person to be governor and if he doesn't play along the line again, he's taken out of the way and somebody else has been put there. That's what we see in River State. Thank you very much for joining us again. It is Serious Matters here at Tony TV. My name is Olukun Lebron. Please do share our videos or uh, drop your comment, make them simple and civil. Well, your comments highly welcome thank you very much for those of you who have been doing that and i want every other person you know to join the train and also drop your comments well with recent happenings in the river states one of the big questions that come to mind is what will be the fate of sim fubara the governor of river states many have said that oh in the coming days there are going to be more defections from the pdp to the apc and that will also include the Federal, Minister, Federal Capital Territory Minister, former Governor of River State, Yeson Wiki, who happened to be the lead of the G5 governors, you remember, before the election in February and also in March. Well, they are the APC, you know, a chapter of the, the River State APC chapter, had now come to woo Yeson Wiki to join the party. But well, another question that comes up in mind is, what party had Wiki been, even before election? Had he not been, has he not been in the, in APC? Is he just going to join APC? Well, I heard on the, on, on, on a radio program this morning, somebody was predicting, just as he predicted the defection of about 27 members, which happened yesterday, has predicted again that by Friday, this Friday, which we are also looking forward to, and I will bring you updates, uh, you know, as they, as those um, events unfold, that Wiki, will officially decamp to the APC. Many are of the opinion that Wiki has lost political relevance, even on the platform of the PDP. And the only way he can remain relevant, at least for now, is to join the APC. Well, let's see how things pan out. Um, in the heat of all this, you know, happenings in River State, uh, Elder Statement, Clark, uh, Baba Clark, Pa Clark, Hedwin Clark, had actually Reading the president to call the FCT minister to order as he is causing a lot of trouble for the government in River State. Simfobara is said to have been installed, well, not probably elected by the people, uh, because when, when the issue of godfatherism comes in, I don't think it is now the will of the people, it is the will of whoever the godfather is. It had always been an issue of godfatherism. But then when the person who is not dead now sees that, oh, I, think, I don't think this thing can work. It's not like this. And people have the opinion that, look, Fubara had a platform, which he probably did not use at the time and was deceived with the reconciliation meeting that, they, that he and his producers all had with the president, you know, some weeks back. And that's, by now, he probably would not have been in the tight corner, which he is, that with the way things are going, he will most likely be impeached. However, your opinion on this particular matter, you know, goes a very long way in helping us to unravel what will happen in the coming days and, of course, how this is affecting us as a nation. Because when I saw or when I'm, when, as I look through, you know, these happenings, you know, it gives me a, a, a kind of picture of what democracy is or can be defined as in Nigeria. It's basically about godfatherism. I'm the one who installed that one and this person. No, you know how, how the governors of Lagos State had come to be. You know how former governor uh, Ambody came to be and then he was to go for second term and then he was not allowed to, to win the second term. <laughs> godfatherism. When will we have or come to an end with the issue of godfatherism in Nigeria? It seemed not to be helping matters and it seemed to be putting aside the purpose and the intent of democracy. Indirectly, inst indirectly stalling growths. Because somehow, the, the person who is installed will have to dance to the tune of his godfather and not the tune of the people. 
And so if we are to go by the OP or by the uh, by the news that were that was all over the place that Yeson Wiki had an agreement with Simfo Barra that he will be giving or be collecting a percentage of the allocation that comes to, to River State from him. Which we, are, we, we, we heard that, oh, he had paid, I think, twice and just found out that, look, this is not good. This is not good. You know, and you see, if I'm to be religious about it, an agreement is an agreement. And that's the truth. If you are going to back out on that agreement, then you will back out with the seat. Which brings me also quickly, or let me digress a little bit, to the point that all these House of Rep, uh, House of Assembly members that have defected to the APC should also lose their seats. We understand that the PDP had written the INEC that they should declare their seats vacant because it was the PDP who voted them in. And so if they came in on the platform of the PDP, I think they should remain there. And if they are not going to remain there, they're going to go to another party, then they will have to leave the office and leave the seat. And of course, come back next time and see if they are going to win. That is the way it's supposed to be. But we wonder how things run, you know, in Nigeria, you know, it is supposed to be this way, but then it goes this way and goes that way, and then it keeps going around and around. I think that the issue of Godfatherism has been a big problem that has stalled our development as a nation in Nigeria. It had hampered our development, it had hampered our growth, you know, where politicians just... You know, say this person is loyal to this person. And I said, that, look, there's nothing wrong with loyalty as long as it is positive. There's nothing wrong with loyalty. But if it is for the wrong reasons and the negative reasons, then that is not loyalty. Don't, 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 don't mix up cultism for loyalty. Don't mix it up. Don't mix it up. Well, I'm waiting for your opinions. I'm waiting for your comments. I want your comments to keep rolling. It's just about the events happening in River State. And how it affects us as a nation. Because the truth is that people are watching us. And that's one thing that I see that even our, our politicians don't care. That people are watching. People are watching. We are being watched. They watch like movie. African leaders. I've got quite a lot of things to talk about. Um, um, APC Kiatika Committee Chairman Tony Okucha said, the party is the one in power, hence Wike should join. He showed, he spoke to journalists in Port Court after 27 lawmakers defected to the APC, asked if the defection was part of plan for Wike to join APC. Okucha said, I don't think so. Whatever their reasons is, when they get to the bridge, they will cross it. Wike is a politician who name, or whose name shakes and echoes in the society. So nobody can think or say for him if he will defect to APC or not. Uh, well, we will see. It's only a matter of time. We know where everybody stands. And that's the truth. We know everybody where everybody stands. Let me round up. He said, uh, Tony, Tony said, in 2023, he immensely aided the victory of APC in the state. The best thing we are asking him to do is to come and join the APC because it is the government in power. Well, not, not necessarily the government of the people, but then the government in power. Let me round off by saying this. Life is transient. Power is transient. There are people yesterday and there will be others tomorrow. There is this saying in the Yoruba parlance that you see that old woman with plucked teeth looking so haggard was once upon a time a babe, was once upon a time a sweetheart. I mean, she might just still be, but that would be to her old and aged husband too. But she was once upon a time this babe that when she passes, oh, come on, you want to woot, you want to see her again, you want to look at her again. You want to watch her again. This is Serious Matters here at Tony TV. I love you to drop your comments. Make them simple and civil. I hope that our leaders and politicians will recognize this fact. That power is transcendent. You are there today. <laughs> Where are the people of yesterday? Those ones who thought that without them, you want to be, you, you want to hold, you want to hold everybody at, hold everybody hostage. You can't, you can't chase two rats and not expect to, and not expect to lose them both. 
you chase two birds, you will lose both of them. You be minister in this part of the country and you are also holding down as the governor, even though you are true with your tenor, but indirectly the governor of the state. We'll see how this pan out. This is still serious matters here at Tony TV. Permit me to step aside uh, and allow you to drop a comment. Make them simple and simple. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you. This is Serious Matters. See you again. Bye.